Oh, it's real now. <laughs> it's kind of real now. Oh, they're taking the L. <laughs> it's my only joke. <laughs> kind of crazy. It's cool though. New chapter. Yep. He's having trouble with the D. <laughs> you can't get the last one off. He's tugging on it. Is there any letters that we could we could reuse? There's an N. We need that. A U, D. There we go, we're saving money. That's it, man. Thank you. Can we put them back up? <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I think it's time to chat. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been speculating what's going on with um, me and the company and is it like split up and then I was doing a channel and I was more on the back end doing the sourcing and like the producing of the clothing and all that shit. Um, so there was a lot of moving parts to everything that was going on but uh, yeah, it's officially done a few weeks ago. Um, it was a long process, took about a year but uh, I ended up selling the company. Um, Full Send and Nelk, I'm no longer associated with. Um, it's, it's crazy. I mean, uh, like you guys know, I mean, me and Kyle started this like seven years ago. This was, uh, this was the baby. And uh, um, it was a crazy journey, man. Uh, we did a lot of shit. And uh, it's, it's sad that it's coming to an end, but um, it, it was definitely needed. I think it's due. It was almost due a while ago. Um, we just had creative differences and shit and uh, different things, different looks on how we wanted to do things and what we actually are like passionate about. And uh, I mean, the past is the past. Like there's no bad blood. I'm not trying to make it about that. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just like ready for a fresh start. Yeah, man, I'm super grateful for all this shit. I mean, all you guys have been supporting us and shit this whole time. Um, took care of the family, check. That's fucking dope and I mean, for the people that do know me, like fucking Edgar, you know what's up. Like fucking, that's like the big check. That's the fucking, that's, that's what I've been working on for my whole life. I mean, as much as I am passionately connected to all this shit, uh, growing up wasn't easy. So fucking being able to take care of mama bear and fucking the family now is like, uh, yeah, it's, it feels like I'm done. Like I accomplished it. Like I don't need a lot of money or things to be happy. Um, I'm a pretty humble dude. And, uh, it's cool to check that box off and officially just, it's cool because now whatever I go and do, I don't have to focus on money. I don't have to focus on, you know, that, taking care of people or fucking anything like that. Anything I go do now is, um, is all like passion oriented. It's, and, uh, and that's what's exciting because, um, what I honestly like doing, I know like you guys just see me from the videos and what I do, so you might not know personally a lot about me, but um, I mean, my, my, my passion is on, I, I mean a lot of things, but I'd say the two main things are on product development, for one, I fucking, I love designing collections and the, especially the starting point, which is at where I'm at right now with, uh, with Sunday. But the, um, it's the starting points and the logo decks and the figuring out like what's the three year plan and how to market this and the, the whole who's going to be involved and like, yeah, it's, it's a long story, but like I'm at the funnest stage of my life is mo most people would think that this is kind of like the most stressful part because you're starting fresh, but I love this shit. This is what I love doing. And on the second part, I love directing and producing um, on-camera talent, like all that shit, which is why I'm building a network. Um, and so it's a network and venture studio, like product development company called Sunday. It seems like a random name and all that shit, but to, to give you guys a little backstory on how I came to Sunday, I mean, I personally just fucking love the name. Um, it, the vibe of it is, is exactly where I'm at in life, but, uh, the idea came from that Nelk is which what I started doing. Um, the vibe of Nelk was Friday night. It was a party fucking channel. It like the whole energy of it was Friday. And then we came up with 
full send, which was Saturday. You know, the second send, the fucking, you're still going at it. It's like doubling down. Um, and now this new stage I'm at in life is like, it's Sunday. Like that, that's what it is. And, uh, and, and that's the vibe of like this channel and the network I'm doing and the brands I'm gonna work with and the brands I'm gonna build. I mean, dude, some of you guys know I've been sober for about a year and a half now. Um, took my health real seriously. And uh, my whole life fucking changed. And, uh, and I am like a, a different guy than I was two years ago, for sure. And uh, yeah, and, and if I'm gonna start something fresh, it's gonna portray who I actually am and what I'm passionate about. I totally get it. Like, you can't just think of a name, slap it on some shit and expect you, all you guys to fucking just fuck with it. Like, I get that, dude. You guys shouldn't fuck with it. It's like. I have, that's my, that's my job now. I have to go spend the next X amount of years giving you a reason to care about it. You know what I mean? And, uh, and, and I know that, and, um, and that is my goal. If you don't fuck with it, it's, it's totally fine. I'm not, I'm not assuming that everyone's gonna just be like, hell yeah, like, like I'm gonna jump on what he's doing now. It's like, dude, totally up to you guys. Whatever you wanna do, just know that uh, I am gonna continue to create and um, and I'm thankful for all you guys, dude. With Sunday and um, the clothing I'm producing and all the cut and sew and all that shit, the one thing that got me really hyped on it is I had this idea that I wanted to build a brand off of a Pantone. I wanted the, the brand to live off of a color before it lived off a name. And, uh, and a lot of this stuff is not gonna make too much sense. I think long term, um, for those who wanna follow the story, it's gonna make a lot more sense, but just the idea that this color is going to be bigger than the name, it will be the brand. On one end, you have the network, which is kind of like a GQ slash Vice, but a cooler take on it, like my take on it, but a bunch of shows that come out every week. And, and then on the other side of it is a product development company where I help build collections and manufacturing and marketing and just a one-stop shop for brands to work with and also for in-house brands that I'm building. I don't think that there is a, a to Z like design, packaging, marketing, uh, promotions, like everything in-house um, that brands can come work with and do that. And like I said, guys, this is more about just updating you guys on the situation. I know you guys have been in the dark for a fucking while. And, uh, and I mean, that's not cool. Fuck, dude, I know um, a lot of you guys are gonna be upset about this. Um, some people are gonna be stoked. Uh, just so you know, I mean, it was a crazy last year. It was very stressful, some of the darkest times of my life, but I made it through and dude, I could not be happier. I'm, I'm excited and I'm fired up and it's, yeah, it's a fresh start and I'm about to make something happen. Yeah, I'm kind of rambling, aren't I? Am I rambling? Is this fucking annoying? I don't know. I just know that people wanted to probably hear some shit, so I fuck, I'm just talking. But, uh, but I mean, thanks to everyone. I know this is the classic fucking YouTuber shit that everyone fucking says, but it's like, fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a shit. I'm actually saying, like, thank you. Like, thank you for everyone. Like, th this does not affect just me. This affects a lot of people, man. Like, like I mentioned with my fucking family and shit, dude. Like, that, that to me is like, that, it's so fucking dope and I appreciate it because I, I wouldn't be in the place I am right now if it wasn't for you guys. And I could be completely wrong, who knows? Maybe I'll be fucking back living at fans' houses in a year. But, uh, you got a couch? I'm, I'm serious, do you have a couch? Yeah, I'm moving in here in like two weeks. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fucking come live here, live and breathe what I want to create. Like I said, guys, I'm fucking beyond excited right now. This is the, this is the fucking fun part. I'm taking all my ability right now to not beat the fuck out of everyone in this room. <laughs> this is the main thing. If we figure this out, which I, I pretty much know where everything can go. Like even this is like, cool, do we want running water in here maybe and like have, like keep water out here. Like we can move a lot of this shit. Like if we're working on a Saturday, right? We're here. We just bring everything outside so we can start actually figuring out where shit should go, clean it out and then start fresh. But no, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna literally have an in-house, like, boutique. So every, everyone who comes by can just literally shop. These mats look pretty good. 
It's weird that that center one is like such a different color. Oh! <laughs> no power, you said. No power! I did, I think I literally hit the head of your dick, I'm sorry. Don't file a report. Alright guys, so we shot a whole fucking documentary on a camcorder and found out that you can't see what's happening. So we cut it out. So we're gonna, we're gonna restart. That's why we haven't uploaded anything. We're trying to make a show that comes out bi-weekly. And it's kind of a business show of everything that's going on here, but we also... I'm trying to make it as little amount of work as possible so that we can keep doing it and keep running a fucking company. Because I don't want to fucking be a YouTuber. So our first client of the creative agency we're doing is Friday Beers, because it just makes sense. This is the holiday collection we're working on. It's pretty dope. Very simple, not too many SKUs. That's like the first problem everyone fucking makes. Um, that beanie is the new logo, eh? The black one. Um, yes. I can see. Yeah. It has like the top of that and the center. Okay. Out of this shit, is there any designs you want to add? Then we need to look at I this think look at what these are close up, the new ones. All okay. of them. And, or maybe we do it together and we add some stuff. I think that, that when I look at that, it's like missing some Christmassy shit that, and some of those look good. I think the mistletoe idea he just had was pretty funny. The idea of putting a mistletoe here at mm -hmm. the bottom of the shirt. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure we're not the only fucking company to do that. Someone's probably done that, but it's kind of like how Danny Duncan's merch, like funny shit works. Like, I think they can get away with that for sure. Like Bloody Sunday was always just a, like just like passion project. Like just like for three years, I just thought it was fucking, if I had a good design idea that wasn't for full sand or something, I would just do it on Bloody Sunday. We, we got a, a whole presentation ready for you guys too, if you guys want to run through that. I could share the screen and show you guys. I didn't know if you guys wanted me to fully like, just take lead and be like, this is the holiday drop. So that's what we did. The denseness of it is, is great. Yeah, yeah. That was the key, right? Is just thickening up all the lines. Um, even like you see down here, like with the old one and then the new one, you can, and I th we were even saying like, you could just keep playing with the white background so it's not too much of a change to your guys' audience and doesn't kind of freak them out at the start. And then maybe like, if you really want to play, push this color, um, which I think is smart for you guys to really like own this Pantone. Um, I think then like six months later, you could like switch to this blue. So then it's like, it's a slow change. It doesn't fuck with anyone. We're not doing like, you know, this is a great graphic. Let's do five t-shirts, six hoodies, three crewnecks. Like, I think that unless it's really needed to do other colorways or other items, we just do another design that's dope. And we didn't want to Christmas up too much shit because I really thought about it and I was like, if, I was saying this earlier, if like my cousin loves Supreme and it, I want to get him a gift for Christmas, it doesn't mean I'm technically like want to get him the Christmas Supreme shirt. It's like I want yeah. to just get him a shirt. But I think you should yeah. have some that fit the vibe. We put together a pretty good mixture of like Christmas and then like Fall stuff with it being football's coming back with the hot yeah. dog and the helmet, some varsity logos. Yeah. Um, we'll, uh, make those edits and then we'll reach out, try to set up another meeting, website, all that stuff. Yeah, let us know. We'll figure out a day. We'll yeah. touch base. Okay. Hey guys, thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Thank guys. you so much, guys. All right. Later, guys. Later. Take care. Literally gonna pee in your mouth, thanks. I have to pee so bad. About to have a really big meeting with a. Uh, Head production Bill and the CEOs Lee and Zach. Um, we're gonna pitch, I think, basically doing like the creative vision for a network here, um, which is which is dope. I mean, that's what I've been kind of building anyways. I was gonna do myself, but um, I mean, I don't think there's a better partner than Faze. We've been coming in here like you know one or two days a week for the last month, building out some show ideas and. Uh, and possibly a, like a TRL like live show. We're here to win today. Could be a big meeting. I also had a pounding headache. That was oh, weird. Yeah. Headache it's and like, it is just it's dehydration. Always. At the end of the day, it's like no matter how much you're disciplined and you're doing all these things, nothing messes me up more than sleep. Like sleep is fucking number one. Not to be the mental health dude that everyone fucking says, but like it all kind of starts there. Like you have to have mental clarity. We have so many resources and like, 
so much opportunity to do cool shit. You you already are, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the, shit, the whole shit you're doing with shithole. Or, it's still called shithole, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So far. Yeah, I kind of paused the show, but uh, probably wait till like, sell it or something. Good. <laughs> I did. What's up, man? So, yeah. How are you? Right. Good, good. You good? Yeah, yeah. Got good. this finished up. Amazing. See you guys in a bit. Break a leg, dude. Dude, we've been waiting on you all morning. How are you? Right. In a meeting. He's up there. Fix that last slide at the bottom. Yeah. And then um, maybe we make a couple designs and mock up a couple things for merch for the IP slide then. And then that deck is done. So we can fucking crush that by the time Jesse gets done with this meeting. Now we're golden, dude. Oh, he's done. We didn't finish. Aria, you're fired. I'm doing you're fucking fired, dude. You didn't finish, you're fired. That yeah, one fucking, fine. like, is it dope? Dude, like, yeah. We're the creative agency and make TV shows and run the vision of the network for a public company. It's a pretty good resume, but we're not a design comp. We don't just design for you, yeah. like your vision. We like, we go find people that need help and yeah, then get yeah. permission to take over their vision. Yeah. I think that's the business model. And like, that's the one that they saw. Before four, we should go grab like a 30 minute lunch and yeah. chat on that while it's fresh in your head, because I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's sick. What is their dad's dream that they want to fulfill? and who is their dad, you know what I mean? It's like, answers a bunch of questions that, on top of it just being a customized show that's really cool and cool characters, it's like answering a lot of questions, I think. Yep. So this is a little breakdown. So first we meet with the talent and get downloaded in the context of the relationship with their dad and what they hope to do with this episode. Next, the team brings in an expert special guest in a featured build cate category to help with the design process while both celebrity and dad head out for a fun-filled day. You got a charger for this? Uh, oh, my bad. What's up? I don't, but oh. you should be good. I should have like another 10% on here. Cool, bro. You too, buddy. Like this is Nick. Right, to bring it up to speed too, there's a, like, we have a bunch of show ideas we're looking at, but this is like the main one that seems like just like a smash hit. Netflix is looking for a male audience show. This is like, seems like a good one to like start a partnership. Um, and then we have the animated series, which is um, based, it's, it was called The Late Late Night Show with Tim Dillon. Um, we rewrote it so that we could own the IP and create our own character. Have you ever done anything like that, like comedy for animation? Yeah, I did, uh, I did this MTV show called Greatest Party Story Ever. People told stories and we animated them. Mm. It, it they would just work. talk and then you would animate yeah. to them talking? Yeah, crazy party stories. Yeah, I've seen that. And yeah, it was all right. Uh, I, I like this idea better. All right, as you guys may have seen on Instagram, we uh, gave away our first product. Um, we made these like Italian leather backpacks. We only made like 100 of them and I gave them to friends and family. And we had like 50 left, so we actually sent them to anyone that followed the Bloody Sunday and the Sunday Instagram page. So you guys kind of missed out on that, but then we sent out the last 25 of them to anyone that went to bloodysunday.com and signed up for drop notifications. So if you guys want to be part of that, we are going to be sending out new products every single month, just kind of giving back to you guys and also get to know when the drops come out for Bloody Sunday. So um, yeah, we're going to throw a couple extra shit in all the packs probably. We got some, uh, these are dope, little smoker jackets with like the biker patch. Got some hoodies. These are dope. Little Palm Angels rip. And so you guys know the, the videos are, are kind of like an embedded series. I don't know if you guys are fans of UFC. That was kind of the format we're going for. I didn't want to change the show so that it fits the YouTube algorithm and everyone's fucking retention that they have nowadays. I just wanted to make it a show that I would watch a little more slower pace and it's, it's just like, just watch the whole video. Just if you, when the episodes come out every Sunday, just sit back, fucking just enjoy it. You know what I mean? And also if, you, if you've made it this far to the video and you're seeing this, 
Fucking comment Sunday backwards, which is Yadness, TM. Comment Yadness in the chat. And anyone who asks, don't fucking tell them why you're writing Yadness. Because they're the idiots that have the retention of a fucking walnut. So, hey, can you throw these into random boxes? Oh, more shit for the people? Yeah. Feel free to grab more shit, too. I don't yeah. care. Let's load it up. Just put that into random shit. All right, guys. So episodes will be coming out every Sunday. So make sure you subscribe if you want to watch them. We got a pretty heavy week ahead of us. It's going to be fun. You guys get to watch the journey from the very beginning, how we build this company into a massive empire. Elon Musk, billion dollar, Kanye West thing. We're going to do it. I think. I don't know.